back to another shell finding adventure. We're at Coolum Beach today, a little bit different than usual. I've just spotted, yeah, that's a real nice one. It is a sub-adult snakehead cowrie. Just really love their juvenile pattern underneath showing through like that, very cool. Oh my goodness, I did not see that when I walked by to do the intro just then. Oh, it's whole, are you kidding? That is an absolutely beautiful grape cowrie. Also called the stippled cowrie because of all the little stipplings on him. Wow, he's got some lovely red points uh, at the front and at the back as well. That's just a spectacular find. Oh, wow, more nice cowries sitting on the sand. Right here, we've got ourselves the little cat cowrie. Yeah, he looks really nice as well. Oh, he's got two little dots on him right there. That's a bit different. What? Are you kidding me? Okay, this is why I like to come to this beach on the weekends. The other beach is super popular. I would not have found an Arabian just sitting there five minutes off the, uh, off the walking track. Oh my goodness. The bad thing about Arabians from here, though, is that they're very worn away from all the tumbling with all the rocks at this beach. Just all the rocks and stuff. But oh my goodness, an Arabian so early in the adventure. <laughs> oh, I see another cat cowrie. Yeah, this one looks even better than the first one. Very nice. Well, that one's just sitting out there in the open. Oh my goodness, surprise, that one's still here again. It pays to come to the less popular beach sometimes. Oh, it's a big Spangler's trumpet. Yeah, that is a really cool, really cool one. Oh my. So when it dries, it will look quite green because it's still got its um, outer layer on it. For you uh, science nerds, that's its periostricum, I think is maybe how you pronounce it. But after a bleach bath and some oil, that will come up very, very lovely. Oh, I was looking at this hole and I was thinking there must be something good in here. Have you spotted the good thing yet? That sun is in the way, isn't it? Have you spotted the good thing yet? Okay, I'll stop playing games. Oh, I just gotta get in there. This guy, wow. Woo, isn't he a nice one? Bit worn away on top, but he looks like a very nice Pacific deer cowrie. Wow, I'm just having all the cowrie luck here today. Down there under that rock, let me see if I can grab it out. Hopefully nothing will sting me. Oh, I'm dying. No, I'm kidding. Here we go. Got myself a nice little obelisk creeper shell. Um, yeah, they're not terribly uncommon. Uh, I just really like them, is all. <laughs> Oh my goodness everyone, that is a deep hole, but you know what? There is another Arabian in it! Have you spotted the Arabian yet? <laughs> oh my goodness, let's go grab it out. There's also a nice looking snake head there too. Oh, that's a bit of a step down. Whoa, it's knee deep! <laughs> alrighty, alrighty, let's grab it, let's grab it, where'd it go? Oh, that's on that, that shoulder deep, bloody hell! Oh, that one, and, and, and the snake head. Oh. Oh, my phone's almost in the water. There we go. Oh. oh my goodness. First of all, that is a very nice snakehead. It feels super nice. And second up, we have an Arabian cowrie. He has certainly seen better days, but oh my goodness, just love picking up the big Arabians. That's a very large one too. Alrighty, looks like we've got a cowrie over there, maybe in a rosa. Let's check it out. Oh, you know, there's a really big one too. This one, this one. Oh, it's stuck where I got. Oh, I got. Oh, my goodness. Everyone, I don't know if you can tell just by looking at it, but this feels so super duper nice. It feels like a really nice one, like it's gonna be glossy when it dries, but look at that shape, it's so bulbous. Oh my goodness, I hope you all know by now that I really love Arosa shells and golly, good golly gosh, that is a very nice Arosa shell. Oh, right in there, there's lots of this like corally anemone stuff, I don't want to step on it. Right in there though, there is a Hebrew cone, let me just walk around safely to it. Yep, it looks like we have a Hebrew cone right down there. Give it a poke test, see if it's stuck to the rock and alive or if it's an empty one. It's, uh, oh, I can't tell. Pick it up. Oh, it's just got rocks in there. Yeah, just a bunch of rocks. Awesome, that's such a cool Hebrew cone. He's still got a bit of his outer layer on it. A bleach bath will bring that up looking really, really nice. Oh, that is a bit different. 
I don't usually uh, search for the bivalves or pick up too many, but wow, that one's got a very funky zigzag pattern on it. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. I see a few goodies down here. First of all, that is a very nice crowned cone. Yep, it is a very nice crowned cone. It's one of those gray ones that I like as well. Next to it, excuse me, are you occupied with a crabby? Let's take a look. It's a, ooh. Ooh, it's not occupied. I think it might be a, um, uh, a meter of some kind. And finally, this one right here. Yeah, I got myself a scaly scallop. Just need to knock off some of that incrustation and it'll be good as new. There we go, that's the type of crown cone I was expecting to find here. Oh my goodness, just love the crowned cones at this beach. They just got so much more of a black pattern on them. They're just like, um, uh, I don't know, they're just, just really, really nice cone shells. Well, I probably won't show myself picking up too many crowned cones today, but uh, let's just say that I've found a sufficiently lovely amount of gorgeous crowned cones. I just spotted something even more amazing. Don't know if there's a crabby in it, but look, it's all. Whoa, it's empty! It's empty, are you actually kidding me? That is lovely, it is intact, it is totally whole. It is, I think, a little partridge tun shell. At least I don't see a crabby in there. Oh my goodness, I never find these hole in with their tips. That's so nice. Well, I was just picking up a few more crowned cones and actually a couple of uh, tortoise dove shells because they are very plentiful at this beach. I walked over that twice. I totally missed it against the background. <gasps> he looks good. He's a teeny one as well. It's a gorgeous wandering cowrie. I'm always super duper excited to find these. They're a very uncommon find. They're just a lovely bluey greeny cowrie. Oh my goodness, another cat carry, but this one looks really good. Oh, it's good on top as well. Ooh, here it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is an extremely lovely cat cowrie. It feels like it'll be nice and glossy when it dries. Oh, I see possibly a good thing. Wait, is, is there something in it? Let's take a look. No, there's a shell inside of it. Is either one a hermit crab or is that legitimately just stuck inside? It was legitimately just stuck inside. Yeah, there's just sand and bits in there. Oh my goodness, isn't that a good find everyone? It's a type of droop shell called the humped rock shell. I really, really like finding these. I just think they're a super cool shell. And inside of it, What's this guy? Little obelisk creeper snail. Um, a juvenile one, I think. Very, very nice. He probably stopped a crab from taking the big rock shell. There is a little music cone right there. Oh, it's actually a very nice music cone. Get a load of him. I always find music cones with that lovely bit of red through them at this beach. Very, very, very pretty. Oh, it just had to be in the deep spot, didn't it? Do you all see that bonnet over there? I almost never find bonnets at this beach. Oh, let's grab it. Oh my goodness, that one was just resting in there. It is a lovely banded bonnet. It's quite pale, actually. Not sure if that's natural or if it's just been in the sun or something. But wow, that's a good guy. Oh, is that another empty Hebrew cone? Let's give it the poke test. Is it stuck? Oh, it's not stuck. Oh, it looks good. Is it empty? Oh, look at that one. For sure it's empty in there. There's no snail, but wow, this shell is in very nice condition. That's such a pretty pattern on it too. Oh, yeah. No way, I see two more Hebrew cones sitting over in that rock pool. Wow. Oh, it looks kind of gross in here. Oh, it's fine. Let's see, this one's first. Let's take a look. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah! Another empty Hebrew cone. This one's very roughed up. This one looks probably a bit nicer. Let's take a look at this as well. Yes, it is empty. Another almost roughed up Hebrew cone. I just stepped and shifted the, uh, the rock. There is a third Hebrew cone sitting here. 
Oh my goodness, I already put that nice one away in my bag. But wow, three Hebrews in the one spot. I wonder if I'm... Um, oh, look, that's nice. Wow. Wow, it's very nice. Got myself a, an orange Mitra right there. Oh, look at that. Has that one got anyone in it? Ooh, it's pretty gross. It's pretty gross. It doesn't feel like there's anyone home. Oh, is that sand or is that, a, is that something gross inside? I, th I think the snail isn't in there. It doesn't smell that bad. He's missing his tip, but that is a um, giant hairy triton. I almost said Spangler's trumpet. <laughs> wow, wonder how long that one was there for. Oh, look what's right up on the shore. Yeah, oh, that part's crusty. Oh, it's gone now. <laughs> it is a juvenile giant hairy triton shell. So here are the shell finds for today. And if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more shelling adventures. But of course, it's time to talk about a favorite. So let me know in the comments which ones were your favorites as well. It's been quite a while since I've gone back to Coolum Beach. Found a couple of Arabians, a lot of Hebrew cones, a couple of Spangler's trumpets and a giant hairy triton right at the back and a lot of really, really great calories. Oh, and plus, incredibly, a whole partridge ton right in there. But for my favorite, oh my goodness, I hope you don't mind, I just love Erosa calories. So yes, this big, gorgeous, beautiful Erosa calorie will be my favorite. He is just lovely and glossy. He's got a bit of damage right there in the middle. I reckon I might have done that to him when I pulled him out from between those two rocks. But never mind, that happens. My other favorite, because I will, I will want to pick a second one, okay? Right at the start, I found this gorgeous, great calorie. Really like this one, just because he's got those very nice red points at either end. Just absolutely spectacular. And that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.